Hey guys, I am just making a video to address something that I think gets so much attention, but it is so confusing. I remember before I studied sports nutrition, I had no idea what on earth was going on with protein supplements. I had this idea that they were only for some Arnold Schwarzenegger style, like all the gym guys and that if I took it, I was gonna grow an Adam's apple and probably grow like proper full on pecs, which I could do with by the way, seeing that I'm totally flat chested. And um, yeah, so whenever you like Google something, you'll see about seven different articles all just like contradicting each other and then agreeing and then it's so confusing and lots of the times you don't know are they only saying this to endorse this specific product are they only saying this because they've been paid to are they saying this because i don't know it is it is really confusing and i'm going to break it down for you because that is what i do so let's start off firstly protein supplements not the devil you won't grow a moustache and an Adam's apple if you're a female. If you're a male and you want to do that, then maybe you want to look down the testosterone route, but that's not this type of video. So, um, yes, when I first started, I was so worried I was going to beef up, bulk up. I was like, okay, I do feel like my body is lethargic. It was struggling with the workouts, a lot of stiffness. Stiffness is a good thing, but when it inhibits your workout or when you feel like you're recovering a lot slower, that's all, has all to do with your body isn't getting a sufficient amount of protein, amino acids, essential amino acids are something that your body can't replicate, reproduce. Anyway, different time, different video. We're gonna try and make this short and sweet. So I highly recommend people take protein supplements. You have to be in a serious calorie surplus to bulk up and to beef up. So whether you're a, a guy trying to bulk up, then yeah, you go on a protein supplement and you have a high calorie surplus, so you're eating more than you're burning throughout the day, you will both bulk up. But it, it doesn't matter if you're taking a protein supplement, but you're getting your daily recommended calories, or if you're in a calorie deficit, whatever your goals are, if you're cutting, bulking, you will not, you will not beef up, you will not gain weight, you will not honestly look like one of those big beefy, you won't end up looking like one of those terrifying human beings that look like they could eat you in one bite. So it's just all about moderation. Personally, my body started responding so much better when I did take protein supplements. Now the trick, to protein supplements is one of the most confusing part. You Google them, you'll get 60 different results and you'll think, what the fuck is happening? It's like when you go to the supermarket now, it's like all I want is an apple. Don't make me choose between 50 different types of apple. Just tell me which apple is the best. And so that is what I'm also going to help you with. Now, the trick to taking a protein powder is choosing one with the fewest amount of ingredients. If you see a supplement that has about 60 different ingredients and they've got added sweeteners, E numbers, colorants, those are things you want to avoid because that's also going to inhibit the amount of protein that your body absorbs because there are so many chemicals and processed supplements blocking that from being naturally absorbed into your body. Personally, I love brands that are natural, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. That is my personal lifestyle choice. If you are not vegan, then go for things like whey protein, but also keep in mind whey protein can, um, can bloat you pretty badly. So if you are being bloated with your protein supplement, maybe switch up what it is. So you can try casein if you're non-vegan or vegetarian as well. That's like a whey protein without the lactase. It's very, very good for you and definitely, definitely recommend it. If you are not, if you are more into the whole vegan, vegetarian, natural, paleo root, then look for things like with rice protein, hemp protein, pea protein. Those are like the main supplements. You wanna see those as like the first three ingredients, at least one of those. If you have a colorant or a flavorant as one of the first ingredients, then don't pick that brand because when they list ingredients, they'll always go from 
the most concentrated and the most used first down to the least in everything. So whenever you look at an ingredient list, you'll see the number one ingredient, like the highest concentration will be the first one. That's true for cookies, chocolates, chips, everything. Whew, I can talk fast, dude. <laughs> and so, like my favorite brand, as I've spoken about in vlogs before, is Green Tea X50. I love it, it tastes like vanilla milkshake, and there are loads of different ways to have your protein shakes, whether it's in protein pancakes, which I will be showing you guys the recipe for in another vlog, whether it's adding it to your oatmeal. I love it with my oatmeal because it stops me getting that whole like, you know when you get lethargic after a smoothie or oats or something like that, that is because it's high in carbs and a lot of the time people don't put enough protein or fats in it to balance out the carbs so that you don't get that sugar crash. That is really important. So one of the easiest ways to prevent that is adding a protein shake supplement or, you know, a tablespoon of nut butter. It is fantastic and it makes the taste amazing because I'm all about that taste life. And then with regard to things like BCAAs, that's if you're doing more intense gym sessions. So if you're doing something that is going to be ripping your muscles a lot, no, don't worry, it's not as terrifying as it sounds. Kind of, maybe. I mean, if you actually think about it when you lift a weight, yeah, your muscle is ripping, but eh, all for them gains. And so with BCAAs, they're just going to aid in the muscle recovery, aid in the muscle repair. They work overnight. When to take your protein supplements, usually you take it after a workout just to help the muscles repair, help that recovery. Sometimes I'll just have it because I like the taste of it or sometimes it's nice as a pre-workout. There's no, you're not gonna die if you take it at the wrong time. That is fine. Don't panic about that, but if you're working towards specific gains or goals, then take it after your workout. But yes, I hope that was helpful. I know I spoke really quickly. If you have any questions about it, just leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.